This process is not easy, and you probably won't get it the first time, but if you do, I want to know about it. Welcome to Easy Italian with Lisa Velastro. I'm going to show you one of my family's favorites. We call it egg balls, but you could also call it a meatless meatball. So let me show you what we're going to need for this recipe. We're going to start with our main ingredient, which is eggs. We're going to need some garlic, some pepper, some salt, some extra virgin olive oil, fresh parsley, pecorino romano cheese, parmesan, and seasoned breadcrumbs. So I'm going to start with about 12 eggs. I have a big family, what can I tell you? We love to eat egg balls. Okay, so after we crack our 12 eggs, I am going to add my Parmesan and Romano cheese. I add two different cheeses because the two different cheeses have two different flavors. One to two cups of each. You could definitely add more cheese if you like extra cheese flavor. We're gonna add half a cup of fresh parsley, about a tablespoon of salt, and about a tablespoon of pepper. Five cloves of crushed garlic. I don't like to bite into a big chunk of garlic. So that's why the garlic press has become my favorite tool in the kitchen. Now once we've added all these ingredients, we are going to mix them together. And I like to use a fork, you could use a whisk, you could use whatever you like to use in the kitchen. This was a staple item in our house. This is what my sister and my brother and I grew up on. We weren't big red meat eaters growing up, so this was a great substitute. I am going to add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now we're gonna mix the olive oil in. We're going to take our breadcrumb and we are going to slowly add it into our mixture, one tablespoon at a time. So I just added five tablespoons to my egg mixture and I'm gonna mix it nice and slowly. You're looking for a thick cream texture. So I think I could add about another three tablespoons of breadcrumb and we're gonna mix that up again. Now that you have a thick creamy consistency, we're gonna need to let this chill for about 10 to 15 minutes in the refrigerator and I will show you how much thicker this will get. See you in 10 minutes. We've chilled this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now comes the really important part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our sauce. This is my famous fresh tomato sauce that you can link to find out how I made this. We're gonna bring it to a nice boil and then we are going to reduce the heat to low. Now we're ready to make our egg balls. What you're going to do is remove all your jewelry from your hands because you will get sticky. You wanna dip your hands in the olive oil so they're nice and greasy. You're gonna take a spoon and you're gonna put a little mixture into your hand and very, very gingerly make it into a round ball. This is a lot softer than a regular meatball. You gotta kinda of play with it to make it round. And then you're gonna very slowly place it into your sauce. And you're going to repeat this process till your pan is nice and full. You're kind of playing around in the palms of your hands to make a shape of a round ball. You're definitely playing with your food a little bit. <laughs> this definitely started as a poor man's meal. You know, Sunday sauce was a tradition. Every Sunday, that's what you had to eat, was Sunday sauce. And a lot of people could not afford to buy meat. So it was cheaper to make an egg ball than it was to make a meat ball. So now the only other important tip I want to tell you when making these is that you cannot overstuff your pot because they will expand and they will stick together. So you just want to cover the bottom layer of your pot. So in this pot here, I fit about 20 egg balls. We are going to cover the pot and we are not going to touch it for 10 minutes. So now we're just going to raise the temperature of the flame a little bit to a medium low, so it comes back to a very slow boil. While we do this, I'm gonna go wash up. Okay, so we are back. This is what happens after 10 minutes. Now you can take your wooden spoon and very gently turn them around and see how they have expanded? They actually have doubled in size. 
So as you can tell, the egg balls have actually come up a little bit, which starts to tell you that they're almost cooked through. So we're gonna let this cook for about 10 more minutes and they'll be all ready for you to enjoy. Okay guys, we are ready to eat our egg balls. Look how delicious this looks. You could also boil some fresh pasta if you'd like and pour this right on top of your pasta. This could be a great meal or you could simply just eat it just with your sauce and your egg balls. I like to finish it off with a little bit of grated cheese, a little bit of fresh parsley. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you for watching my video on egg balls. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like my video and subscribe to our channel. Hope you're able to make these. Just remember, let me know and enjoy.